In today's lesson, we're going to go through how to use the pen tool and how to use the pencil tool in Illustrator. So first I'll start off using the pencil tool. So we're going to make a line and if you go over to your sidebar, here is your tools and I'm just going to click over to the pencil tool. So if you put your cursor over top of it, you'll see that it is the pencil. And I'm just going to draw a line freehand. And here is my line. If I want to go in and adjust any points, I can move my cursor over. I can click so this one selection is selected. And then I have my handles and I can adjust my handles. I can click another anchor point and move it out. So again, just re refreshing your mind on how to use the direct selection tool is this one can select individual points. You can also hold shift and grab a few points and you can move them out or you could just grab them individually. Okay, so let's just delete this. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can uh, create a path using the pen tool. So I'm just going to create some of this kind of weird shape here. And if you notice, and I'm putting my cursor close to my first point, I can't close my path yet. My first point over top of my second one, I'm not getting that circle. So how I get that circle is I have to hold Alt on my keyboard and I get that circle and it's telling me that I can close my path. So let me just show you that again. So I just, I'm going to create this path. As I'm getting closer, I'm going to hold Alt and let go and it'll automatically. If you want to smooth out your path, you can hold Alt and you can go over your path and you can actually smooth it out. So if you have some rough lines, which I don't really on this one, but I can smooth out the areas. If you want to adjust the pencil tool, you'll see that you have some options up at the top here. You can also double click and you get some pencil tool options. So I can increase the fidelity. I can adjust my smoothness. I can fill the new pencil strokes. And I can edit selection paths. I can keep it selected. So I'll just hit OK. And then I'm going to create another shape and I'm going to close my path. You can come up to here. You can adjust your stroke. You can change the type of stroke. You can change the color of your stroke. So you have a lot of different options using the pencil tool. Let's move on to the pen tool. So the pen tool is the hardest tool to learn in Illustrator. It usually takes weeks to learn from beginners and they always end up frustrated while using the pen tool. If you have used the pen tool in Photoshop, it's a little bit the same depending on how you use the tool in Photoshop, but it should give you a good concept on how to do it in Illustrator. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to the pen tool here. And I'm just going to create a W shape. So I'm going to click. I come down, I click. I go back up, I click. I'm trying to align these. You get this little uh, straight line there in the green. That's telling you that it is aligned perfectly. And then I'm going to come across. I can change my stroke color. I can put it black. It's a little bit easier for you to see. And here's the W. If I can click away. If you want, again, to white selection tool, you can always click on the one point and you can adjust it and so forth. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to work on a path. So I'm going to create some sort of diamond shape. And I'm always going to close my path by clicking from my last point to my very first point. And how you know you're able to do that is you're going to get this little circle. And there you have a closed path. If you need to join a path, let's say that you just created this and you wanted to continue and join it, you're going to click on your last point where you have that little minus sign. And that tells you you can keep going. And there you go. I'm going to delete that path. Now we're going to draw a curve line. So this is the part that gets really tricky. So I have my first point. All I'm doing is I'm clicking and I'm letting go. 
then I'm going to go up to the top here and I'm clicking and dragging. Okay. The number one mistake most students do is they'll go to the next point and they just click and let go. And then you have a straight line. That's not what I want you to do. So you're going to click and drag and you should have a curve. Now what happens is, is Illustrator always wants to create a circle with its curve. See how it just automatically wanted to go into that point? So what I have to do is I have to go over my last point and hold Alt and remove that handle. Then I can actually continue my curve to wherever I want. I'm to go Alt, click on that last point. So let's talk about changing directions. So I'm going to make one point here and I'm just going to make a loop and I'm just going to do a little small loop from here. And so what I want to do now is I'm going to drag my handle and I'm going to change the direction that way by just the handle. So you have some options when you're working with handles on changing the directions. Okay, now I'm going to create a path. Alt, kill that last point. I'm clicking and dragging. Alt, kill that last point. Clicking and dragging. Alt, kill that last point. And clicking and dragging. Okay, so here I have a shape. If I wanted to add more points, I can hold down my pen tool and I can go to the plus and I can click here. I can, with my white selection tool, I can bring that out. I can adjust my handles. I can do that again if I wanted to make a point here. My white selection tool, I can bring it in. I can adjust the handles. Now if I decide that I wanted to remove a point, if you've added too many points by mistake, you can click on the delete anchor point tool and it will remove points for you. Okay, I'm going to talk to you about color fills and strokes now with paths. Alt killed that last point. Alt. Okay, so right now I have it set to have a black stroke on the outside with no color fill. If I double click on here, I now have a red color fill. If I click away, you can see that this is the shape I have. So in your project, sometimes you're going to be working with strokes and it's going to work perfectly for you. Let's say for example, if I just have a shape and you may have it that you're actually able to put a stroke on it perfectly. That's great if you lucked out. But a lot of the instances you'll have to be designing without strokes. You'll have color fills and then if you go to your layers, window layers, what you'll do is ideally your first image that you're going to be tracing would be locked down on the back and then you would be tracing it on top. So here you may have a color fill on this layer and then I would lock that and I would create a new layer for my stroke and I would probably use the pen tool for this You may find when you're working with a stroke that you want to zoom in closer. And then I click away. So when you're done your stroke outline, you may zoom in. So right now I'm just hitting control plus. And this is that point where you decide what you want to do with those additional points. So here I might want to adjust my handle, smooth it out. 
I might want to add another point in here. and bring it in so there is no additional white space. Add another point. Bring it out. Adjust the anchor handles so it's a smoother curve. And you can also use your arrow keys if you're finding that using your cursor is just not working for you. Sometimes it can stick and be a little bit tricky. And there you go. So you'll have a better idea when you zoom in to which issues you'll have to fix. Like right here with the red on the outside, the white space. And that's essentially it. For your project, you'll be making a lot of shapes and putting a stroke around it. I would suggest doing all of the color fills first and then at the end having some layers for just the stroke. And make sure that you lock your layers so you don't accidentally draw on the different layers. So you might want to have a layer that is the head area, a layer that's the body, um, a layer above would be the eyes, and some different details. So here I'm going to explain a little bit further on how to trace images. So I downloaded this image from the internet. I'm going to lock my layer. For those that don't remember how to find your layers, you go up to Window, Layers, and it comes out here. I locked my layer so I wouldn't draw on it. I'm going down to the, it looks like a paper icon, and I'm, go I'm going to go over to my pen tool, and I'm just going to click on the first pen tool. Right now, I want to turn off my color film, and I want to turn off my stroke. I just want to create a path. I'm going to click for my first point, and then I'm going to click and drag. And I can see that it's too much of a curve, so I actually have to put a point in between. So if I control Z that or command Z, I can click and drag. And then I'm going to hold Alt, click that last point so I can remove the handle. And I'm going to do the same thing, hold Alt and click that last point. And again, hold Alt, click the last point. Trying to figure out where you should make your points comes with practice. So don't expect that you'll be able to do this perfectly on the first time around. Okay, and I'm just going to make another point and Alt, kill that last point. Again, you can always zoom in later and see where your points are and figure out where you need to do your adjustments. Alt, last point. Alt, last point. So as you can tell, I'm just clicking and dragging. Alt, last point. Alt, last point. And if you want to do really long curves, then sometimes you want to make sure that you're not too zoomed in. And your first point and last point have to meet. So when you have that little zero there, you can click and drag and create that closed path. So the most important thing now is that you use the eyedropper tool and you pick that solid fill color. So right now, if I turn the eye off the original, and I'm just going to click away so we can see, I have the new Twitter logo that I made. If I turn my eye off on the one I made, here's the original, here's the one I made. 
So let's say that you were doing this for a class assignment and you needed to put a stroke on it. We would lock this down, you would create a new layer, and then you would turn off the color fill. To create a stroke color, you would double click, find the color that you would like, grab the pen, and start creating your stroke. Another technique that you can do when you're trying to work with strokes to create an outline is you can actually duplicate this layer. So if I just drag it down to the plus, it actually made a copy of it. Then on the layer below, I'm going to select it. I'm going to lock the top layer to make sure I don't draw on it. And I'm going to double click and pick a black stroke. I am going to change the weight of it. And here I have a black stroke. So it's not actually on my top layer, it's on my bottom layer. When you're dealing with multiple images, you will be able to do this technique for a lot of the assignment. But the small little details that are above, you will have to retrace over top. So use both techniques to help you out.